Welcome to the show alongside Bryce Burge. I'm Pete Francis and we've got a great show for you today. Antonio Wallace will be joining us in the studio as well as NMU volleyball coach Dominic Yoder and Mandy Meyer. But first Bryce, the Miners Cup is headed back to Marquette. But last week when we beat Tiff in 62 to nothing, we talked about statement games, but nothing makes a statement more than stomping on a rival 48 to 16. We were led once again by the power running game uh, through Boussois and Wallace, but also had the arm of Carter Kopak to lead us uh, through the passing game as well. And it was just a great game for the Wildcats overall. Yeah, Bryce, talk more about the play of Carter Kopak. He's really been making some strides this season. He has. For me personally, he's always been known more of a court, uh, as a football player not and not so much as a quarterback because last year what was really good for me to see as both a fan and, and a, just watching it was his tackling skills and his scrambling skills. But in this last game, he went 11 for 14 for 220 yards and against a tech defense that was known for being good against the pass. So it's really, it's really good to see him going. Speaking of impressive, freshman running back Antonio Wallace continues to dazzle. Yes, uh, he has been doing very well. He ran for 154 yards last game for the, with a 65-yard touchdown. He's ranked number one in the conference right now for uh, scoring with scoring uh, two touchdowns per game. So we're very happy to see him added to the Wildcat offense. Not only has the offense been impressive, Bryce, but the defense has been just as impressive. Northern's defense has been doing very well this year. We're ranked number one in the conference for our red zone defense. And we've been doing very well, ranked in the top three for both pass and rushing defense as well. We have the least amount of points scored against our team this year. And uh, a lot of that comes down to bone crushing hits by our defense and a very good linebacking crew backed up by Nathan Yelk. He was our guest from last week. And that will always bring a lot of pressure. The one bad thing about our defense right now is the lack of sacks. We only have two sacks right now, way down on the bottom of our conference. But that should improve this week going up against Ferris State. Yeah, well, like you say, Bryce, Ferris State comes to town this weekend for homecoming. Now, this is a team that gave Grand Valley State a really good game last week. Uh, what will be the keys to an NMU victory this week? Keys to an NMU victory is going to have to be the beat the, uh, beat the run. Um, a lot of what happened for Ferris State last week to keep it close against a team like Grand Valley to just a one possession game would have to be to keep the offense on the field. It's very much of a time possession game against Ferris and that's something that we can do with such a good powerful running back game that the enemy Wildcats have. Also we need to make sure that we keep winning the turnover battle right now for the season. NMU is plus four but Ferris is minus three so that's gonna be really good for us and we also need to make sure that we need to keep the QB spy on make sure that the QB doesn't run. Uh, the Bulldog quarterback last week had over 10 rushing attempts so we need to make sure he doesn't take off. We'll see if the Cats can keep the momentum going. Well, we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll be joined by NMU running back Antonio Wallace. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Joining us now is NMU running back Antonio Wallace. Antonio, thanks for coming on the show today. No problem. Yeah. So last week we had Nathan Yelk on the show, and he said you guys don't try to put you know any more emphasis on one game than another, but be honest here. How good did it feel to take it to Tech like that? It was a good win. That was our goal to go in and win, but I'm pretty sure it felt better for the seniors because this is their last chance to play a rivalry game against Tech. Mm -hmm. so. so you came to NMU from Tampa, Florida. What made you decide NMU was the right place for you? Honestly, Coach Duke with that because we kept in touch the whole summer and he put his trust in me f to do the right thing over the summer and he the only one that really stepped up and made the commitment to recruit me. Okay. So. Through three games, you lead the team in uh, rushing and touchdowns. Did you expect to make this sort of impact this early? I just came to play my role in the football team, just do what I can, help the team. Okay. Now that you have a few games under your belt, has there anything that's uh, surprised you about the style of playing the GLIAC? I get tired quicker. Yeah. Guys faster. <laughs> Chase me down a lot. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you returned a punt for 82 yards against Tiffin in the home opener, which was a Superior Dome record. Did you know when you did that that it was a record? I didn't know it was a record, but just kept running. <laughs> What's more exciting, an 82-yard uh, punt return for a touchdown or a breaking a 65-yard run for a touchdown? <laughs> I would say the punt return because special teams, that's a big part of the game. A run, I like running behind the offensive line we got. Mm -hmm. I say this punt return is better. Um, are there any types of things you do before a game to get hyped up or get motivated? I pray. Pray. Yeah. And then uh, homecoming is uh, this coming weekend. Ferris State comes to town. Uh, what do you guys need to do to make sure it's a successful one? Have a good week in practice. Everybody know what they're doing. Be in the right position. The coaches they're gonna coach us up good. Just go in and execute. All right. Thanks for coming on the show today, Antonio. No problem. All right, we're going to take another quick break, and when we come back, Bryce will sit down with NMU Volleyball coach Dominic Yoder and Mandy Meyer. Stay tuned.